Hi everybody, it is the 4th of May 2022, so I thought it was high time I updated my how to install the DAISY expansion mod on your local PC. So although you could use the information in this video to help you install DAISY expansion on your community PC in the cloud, you know, your community server, sorry, this is really about installing on a local server on your local PC. This video is aimed at people who are familiar with installing mods on their um, local PC um, and in the description below this video I will put a link to how to start a local server on your on your own PC so you can play DayZ on your local PC. Don't try and do that with expansion straight away okay get a vanilla local server working first and then come back and, and install DayZ expansion. Also, as we're going through this, we're basically just going to be installing Daisy Expansion. And now again, I would recommend don't try and install other mods as well. In fact, remove any other mods on your local server and just get Daisy Expansion working first. Because although it is a lot less buggy than it used to be and installing it is much, much easier than it used to be, the less points of contact there are with other mods and things like that, there's less chances for error and the more chances you are to, you'll get it working and you'll be like, ah, oh, phew. Um, big, big thanks has to go out to the DAISY expansion team because they have done an awful lot of work to making it much easier to install now. Um, and I will link to this page, the Steam page in the description below this video, which kind of shows you what you kind of have to do. Now, this looks a lot more complicated than it actually is. What they've done is that whereas before you had to install lots of different modules for DAISY expansion, what you can do now is you can just install um, a whole load of them in one go, including uh, in, in a mod basically called DAISY expansion bundle. And this makes it much, much easier to install. So what we're going to be looking at today is, is installing this side of it. So installing Community Framework, Dabs Framework, and then all of this stuff. So DAISY expansion licensed and DAISY expansion bundle which is all that sort of stuff. And community online tools as well. That's the admin tool um, that you can use. Um, Daisy expansion is compatible with Zomberry. So you can use Zomberry as well. Just load the mods in the correct order. We won't be looking at Daisy expansion AI today. Um, they will probably be rolling this in to Daisy expansion bundle, but we'll have to see. I'll, I'll have to do a separate video on that. And this page here on Steam, is basically it includes everything I'm going to be talking about today. This is an excellent how-to beginner's guide on how to install um, Daisy expansion on on a remote server, which is obviously very similar to a local server as well. So the first place thing to do is to fire up Steam, and then within Steam, go to the Steam Workshop, and then you want to well you want to start uh, you want you want to start downloading all the mods so you've got like daisy expansion licensed and you know the ones that it'll need because the required items are here so we've got daisy expansion licensed we've got daisy expansion subscribe to that one you've got uh, community framework subscribe to that one dabs framework subscribe to that one community online tools again that's optional but i'd recommend you do subscribe to that one um, daisy expansion core subscribe to that one um, I think that's everything, isn't it? I think we've covered everything. Um, again, if you're not quite sure, if you go back to this page, you've got the uh, ones we need. So we can look at that. So we know we're meant to have Community Framework, Dabs Framework, Community Online Tools, Daisy Expansion License, and Daisy Expansion Bundle. Now, once you've subscribed to them within Steam or on the browser, what you want to do then is you want to fire up Daisy, and that will then. Uh, the Daisy launcher will then download the mods to your local version of Daisy on your PC, not to your server, just just to your PC. So if we click on the mods section here, it will it will download them all. It'll see you'll see it downloading, and you'll do it. Now we need to find out where these mods are. Um, it's very easy. Just click on this little arrow here. Click on the three dots. Click on open folder in Windows Explorer. Just agree you're not going to bug around with them. And this will then open up. So this is your workshop folder within your copy of Daisy. Again, it's not the server, it's just Daisy. So then we need to copy the relevant mods out of here and into our server. So we go down and we go, okay, here we go. So we've got uh, Daisy Expansion Licensed. We want that one. We want Community Online Tools. We want Community Framework, Dabs Framework, Daisy Expansion Bundle. I think that's everything, is it? So you would right click, you would copy those. Go up, go up, and you'll probably find your Daisy server is in the same directory. 
So just go into that one, right click paste, and, and that will then copy the mods into your server file. So next thing we need to do is we need to know, we need to kind of marry up these mods with what our server um, should be turning on. And the first way we do that is with the keys. Now the keys, or more correctly, not doing this process properly with the keys is the most common cause of errors within um, installing um, various mods, especially expansion, because you've got several mods you're installing at once. And if you install a mod and you try and start it with your batch file, but you don't include the correct key, you get some really weird errors that will say something like, um, client has a, has a PBO or a mod that the server doesn't have. Um, and it'll tell you the name. And you'll be thinking, wait a minute, I've, I've installed that mod on my server. I've told it to start in the batch file. What's going on? Chances are it's because you didn't copy the key across. And the keys do change as well. As mods get updated, sometimes the keys change. So what am I talking about? So go into the mod, go into the keys folder within the mod, and then copy the, the key. So you copy that, then come out of that, and then go down to the keys folder for your server, and you would paste it in like that. And you do that for every single mod. Copy. Go back to keys. It would then be paste. You see, I've already done it. So there's the expansion bundle, keys, copy. There we go. So you do that for Daisy Expansion Bundle, Daisy Expansion Licensed, Dabs Framework. Um, yeah, that's all of them. And if you get an error, that's the first thing I always check. Have the keys changed? Have I included all the keys? So that kind of marries up um, things like the, the client with the server with the keys. The next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that when our server starts, it starts with the with the mods that we want to start it with. So you're going to open up your Windows batch file. Now, my one happens to be called Start Zombie Admin. Um, your one may well be called something different, but it's your start.bat file. And you're looking for the start line. Uh, again, your your file may look different to this one, but within the start line, there will be a um, sorry, there will be a mod line here, and this tells your server please start with these mods. So my server is starting with Community Framework, Community Online Tools, Zombie Admin Tools. That's just my choice. You don't have to. Dabs Framework, da Daisy Expansion Bundle, and Daisy Expansion Licensed. Now, if you go back to this wonderful page here on Steam, again, link in the description below this video, and you scroll down you will find it has all the information I just said, and then it has a rather handy, ready to copy and paste um, mod line for your batch file that you can just copy and paste into your batch file. And the beauty with doing this is that you'll get the mods in the right order. Some mods can be a little bit finicky about the order they start in, but if you copy the instructions, they will be in the right order. So once you've done that and you've copied that to your batch file, you know, obviously save that. Um, at the same time now, while we're here, it's probably a good idea to go into your serverdz.config file and just check near the bottom where you've got your template, are you in the right map? So I've got daisy offline.churnerus plus. So but that's the map we're going to be using for, for it that time. So so that's Coolio. So we're in the right map that way. Now, at the moment, the Daisy Expansion people recommend that you wipe your server before you install Daisy Expansion. So that means going into your missions folder, we're going to be in the Chernerus Plus app, and that means deleting the storage folder. So just, just delete it. You're going to lose your character, you're going to lose your anything you've built, but you know this is a local server, so it's probably not the end of the world you know, doing this. If you're using this video to help you install this on your remote server, your community server, could be an issue, obviously, because if people are playing on your server, they're going to lose their bases, going to lose their characters. So maybe you would do this as part of a planned wipe and say, "Look, guys, we, we're upgrading to, um, uh, we're upgrading to Daisy expansion, you know, with the helicopters and the traders and the different weapons and something." Really, you know, but in order to do that, we need to start again. So we're gonna we're gonna do a wipe. The guys are working towards uh, changing the mod where you won't have to do this. So. Again, check the Steam page, check the notes over there, check the Discord, just in case that has been changed. But otherwise, you know, wipe it, and then, then we'll be on there. Okay, so now we've got our batch file set up, we've got our map set up, we've got our mod set up, so that's good to go. But what we need now is we need the bits for the uh, for, for, for the mod. You know, we need the extra guns, we need the extra um, uh, cars, we need the helicopters, we need the different events that happen. 
So again, if we go back to this amazing instructions, you'll see we've got the bit about installing the mission files, you know, our, our events.xml, our types.xml. So if you click on that link there, you will end up over here at the expansion mod teams GitHub and basically just click on the green button and download the zip, you know, download it all. And that will then download to your downloads folder, probably if that's what we have it set to do, and then unzip it and you'll end up with this folder here. And this folder has got some really cool stuff in it. And what they've done is, what used to happen with uh, Daisy Expansion, you would have this whole extra mission file you would have to install, but you don't have to do that now. Um, if you open up the README tutorial section, again, this is superb what they've done. You've got step-by-step -step, step -step instructions on how you add these extra types and event spawns um, to, to your folder. Um, so, as you can see, step one. From the template, copy the expansion CE folder and paste it inside your mission. So we go to the downloads. So there's the expansion dot uh, underscore CE or central economy. Copy that. Go back to our server. Go into our missions folder. Go into the Chernerus missions folder. So that's what we're working on. Click on paste. And there it goes. Now let's have a quick look in here and see what this is. So we've got expansion events, expansion spawnable types, and expansion types. So if we edit this one if we jump in and just scroll down to the bottom so we can see what it is here we go so pistols type expansion taser yellow so this is the taser that expansion brings in so what they what they've done rather cleverly is they've used a function within daisy uh, xml's which is underused and i should use it as well where if you want to edit something like your types xml you don't actually have to edit the original file you can just do an an an, uh, an anendum to the file and say to the game look Look in your ordinary types, but can you look in these types as well? And that's what these are. So there's these extra ex events, extra spawnable types, and extra uh, uh, expansion types there. But we've got to tell the game to do that. So again, so let's close that down. Let's go back to the README tutorial. So it says, from the template, copy the expansion C folder and paste it inside the mission, which we've done. From the template, open the file CFG economy core XML. So let's do that. There it is. And then what we need to do is, as it says, and copy from CE folder expansion CE to and including that inside our CFG economy core. So again, you go back to your mission, open up CFG economy core. So there it is. And then you would just copy that and then your file will look like this, and you just go down to the bottom, you see where I've already put it in? So underneath defaults, paste in that bit. From the template, inside the file CFG event spawns, copy the spawn points. So then we go into here, so CFG event spawns, edit with Notepad++. Plus plus. So these are all the extra, you know, for all the different things, all the different events, we need to spawn these in. So then we go into our server, and we look for CFG event spawns, Edit that. And so you would copy all of this. And right click, copy. And you would put it at the top of your events. Just like I've done there. Mine are already there, so you, you would paste those in. Remember to save as you are going along. That will do that. Back to the instructions. To make your Daisy expansion market compatible. So that means the trader. So if you want to use the trader with it. So inside your mission, add the folder expansion from the template. So we go back to here. So we right click, copy that, go back to our server, and right click, paste there. So that will then appear. Now, what's interesting inside of here is there's all sorts of um, different things. But if you go into the trader, You've got the different traders, so aircraft trader, boats trader, Kamenka trader, Green Mountain trader. If you're never not if you're not sure where these are, if you just open them up in Notepad Plus Plus or whatever editor you're using, you'll see expansion trader Judy aircraft, and then it gives you the coordinates that you can then paste into um, um, I Survive, and you can see where the traders are because they've kind of dotted around all over the place. Okay, so basically we've done everything that we need to do now. So make sure you save all your files. Um, 
remember that you need to let's go back to the server delete your uh, storage folder within your mission file and then you can double click on your start batch file and you can start firing up your server now in my experience from doing this a few times now is often it won't work the first time you'll get all sorts of strange errors um yeah so click on servers here so what should happen now is on lan hopefully the server will appear in a minute there it is you'll get errors that say things like um timed out error or it might just keep on going and it would never connect. Don't worry, if that does happen, just shut down your server by shutting down the little server boxes and then fire it up again. Because the, the mod has got to kind of set things up as it gets started. So it normally takes at least one cycle for it to work. Um, and if you get any of those errors, like I said before, where they say things like um, client has a mod uh, which isn't in or a PBO that isn't included on the server, but you, it is a mo it is a part that you have set up. It could be a keys problem. So set up DLC mods and join. And remember, within these great instructions here at the bottom, there is a great troubleshooting section as well. And also, I'll put a link to this uh, this thing here as well. You've also got um, Salutesh's daisy expansion um, repository as well and this is basically goes through everything i've just talked about um, um, in installing the daisy expansion and also things like how to uh, become an admin in community online tools um, how to configure the uh, the mod as well you know how to set up the trader prices how to how to set up the safe zones and stuff like that so i'll put a link to that as well so there we go, my friends. That is how you install Daisy expansion on your local server. Hopefully you found the video useful. Hopefully you can see that it's much easier than it used to be. Um, and if you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.